Now let's try to go in some uh, some basic decay processes of these leptons. And what we say is that, that every elementary particle has some unique property uh, like mass, charge, magnetic moment, uh, quantum numbers. I mean, except for, for electrons, protons, and, and, and neutrinos, most of the elementary particles are unstable. And they decay into other elementary particles after, after surviving for, for some lifetime. Now, talking about the family of leptons, this lepton family consists of six members. Two, three, four, five, and, and six. And, and three out of these six members are, are charged particles. Now, what we have is uh, we have electron. Okay, this electron is, is a charged particle. So if we call it E negative, then we have muon. And this muon is, is mu negative. It's a charged particle. And, and tau. Tau is, is a charged particle. And each of these three charged particles have a charge equal to, to minus E. Okay, they have a charge of minus E. And, and the remaining uh, three that we have here is, uh, uh, what we have here is electron neutrino. Electron neutrino. And its symbol is nu E. And we have muon. Neutrino, and that is new M as a subscript, and we have tau. Neutrino, and this is new tau. Now, to start with, uh, is is the electron. Okay, so this electron was uh, it was it was discovered by uh, by J J Thomson uh, in in, in eighteen ninety five. Uh, it is the lightest of all the charged particles, and that's why it's called, it's named as, as lepton, and lepton means uh, uh, light particle. And these electrons, uh, they, they are produced by, by many methods, uh, by supplying energy. If you have, say, for example, we have a metal, and uh, if we supply the energy uh, uh, to, to the metals, the, the electrons will come out of these metals, provided the energy that the energy of the incident radiation is greater than that of some minimum energy uh, that that's utilized here. Uh, and we can we can we can produce them in in gases, can produce these electrons from gases, uh, and uh, and we can produce these electrons from from beta decay. Uh, these could be some of the ways. I mean, uh, if if I talk about a metal, uh, it consists of large number of electrons, uh, uh, and these electrons are free. And, and these free electrons cannot, uh, they, they cannot leave the surface of the metal by their own uh, due to a barrier, what's called as, uh, I mean, call it as surface barrier. Uh, uh, so, uh, however, uh, these electrons can be ejected by supplying some external energy, which is greater than uh, the, the energy corresponding to this surface barrier that I talked about. Now, the external energy can be supplied by, uh, it can be in terms of heating, or it can be, uh, uh, it can be some 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 radiation uh, uh, kind of thing that can be bombarded on on this metal. Now, when this metal is heated, say for example, the free electrons in the metal absorb the sufficient amount of energy, uh, and and uh, and uh, the, 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 the sufficient amount of thermal energy, and, and come out of the metal surface by overcoming this surface barrier. And, and the electrons from this metal can also be uh, they, they can be also uh, ejected by exposing this metal surface uh, to, to some. Uh, incident radiation, but provided the frequency of the incident radiation is greater than that of the uh, the threshold frequency. Now uh, we can also produce these electrons in ion, ion, uh, on ionizing a gas when a highly energetic particle collides uh, uh, with the atom uh, atom of gas. Uh, then the electron revolving around the nucleus, uh, what happens? Uh, uh, this electron is knocked out, uh, and. Uh, uh, this electron is uh, knocked out. Uh, uh, the, the, the atom that we have is uh, has lost its electron, and it becomes positively charged atom. Uh, and the electrons so knocked uh, out of the, uh, the the gas can be extracted using some suitable means. And and finally, we have beta decay. We can have electrons uh, in beta decay. I mean, in uh, if we have a neutron, it decays. Uh, it decays to a proton and an electron and an antineutrino. Uh, so uh, similarly, if we have, uh, we, we will have positron uh, if we have a proton uh, and it decays uh, into 
into a neutron, uh, into a positron and, and a neutrino. So, uh, uh, so, so, so this way we can, we can generate electrons. Uh, the electrons can be generated. And, and also uh, uh, this electron and, and, and positron, uh, they can also, uh, the, these electrons and positrons can also be produced by the phenomenon, what's known as pair production. And for that, you have a gamma ray photon. It's going to give us positron and electron. Now, talking about some fundamental properties of these electrons is that uh, electron is, is a negatively charged particle, uh, and and its antiparticle is electron. Sorry, positron. Now you have uh, uh, you have a property of elect this electron. It's negatively charged, and the magnitude of its charge is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. And 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 the charge on its antiparticle, uh, positron, is 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Okay, so here we have the negative of 1.6 uh, times 10 to the power of minus 19, and for the positron we have 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. And the mass of this electron, now talking about its mass, now the mass of electron and its and uh, and, and, and and its antiparticle is same. So mass, I should symbolize it as m e negative is m e positive. And if we write it in terms of mega electron volt per c scan, then this mass is 0.511 mega electron volt per c scan. And this electron has a spin, and, and that spin is 1 by 2 h cross. And the, the magnetic moment of this electron, okay, talking about its magnetic moment, magnetic moment uh, uh, of this electron, which is symbolized as mu e, is e h cross by twice m e. And its value is 9.27 times 10 to the power of minus 24 ampere meter square. This electron is, is, is a stable particle. It, it never decays. It's a stable particle. And uh, electron uh, participate in electromagnetic uh, as well as in elect uh, electro weak uh, interactions. So this is, uh, uh, this is about uh, electron. Now talking about muon and what's its symbol? Its symbol is mu bar, mu negative. Now this muon, it was discovered by, by C.D. Anderson okay, uh, uh, in 1937. There were other associates as well uh, uh, when he was investigating uh, the, the cosmic rays uh, that were hitting his cloud chamber. Now this muon, it is an elementary particle and it has no substructure. It doesn't have any stru structure. It is similar to that of an electron in respect of charge and spin. So it has the same charge as that, that of electron. It has the same spin as that of uh, the, the electron that's 1 by 2 h bar. But, but it is heavier. It is heavier than electron. And this, this, this muon is negatively charged particle. It's its antiparticle is an anti-muon and is represented by, so for muon we have mu negative and its antiparticle is mu positive. And these muons are produced, when they are produced, they are produced when pi ends. Okay, when we have a pi meson, say pi negative, uh, it gives us a muon negative plus nu. And, and pi positive, it gives us mu positive plus nu mu. And talking about the properties of these muons, a muon has, uh, uh, it has an antiparticle, mu positive, and charge on muon is same as that of uh, uh, charge of electron, and, and the charge of anti-muon is same as that of charge of positron. And, and the mass of this muon and its antiparticle is same as that of, uh, 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 is same as, uh, as, as uh, its mass, uh, the mass of this muon and its antiparticle, uh, mu positive, is same. Uh, and, and its mass is equal to, uh, in terms of mega electron volts, so mass of uh, muon. Uh, it is of the order of 105.7 mega electron volt uh, per C scale, which is nearly 208 times greater than that of mass of electron. So the mass of muon is nearly 208 times greater than that of mass of electron, mass of muon. And the spin of muon is half, as I said, and its magnetic moment, the magnetic moment of this, uh, this muon, magnetic moment. Yeah, what's that? That is mu mu, that is E h cross by 2 m mu, and that is 1 by 208 times that of the magnetic moment of electron. 
and this particle is unstable it is unstable and and the mean lifetime of this muon and anti muon whom we call as mu negative and and mu positive uh, their mean life uh, their mean life is is nearly 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus 6 seconds so it is 2.2 microseconds and and the decay mode for muons let's write down its decay mode the decay mode uh, for say mu negative is it gives electron it gives neutrino and nu e and mu positive it gives e plus plus nu mi mu anti plus nu e so these uh, muons uh, what's their important role is that they participate in electromagnetic uh, as well as weak interaction so they participate in electromagnetic and and weak interactions so this was uh, about these muons now let's go with the with tau 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 particles tau uh, tau elementary particles or we may call them tau leptons uh, with the symbol tau negative now this tau basically this tau lepton was discovered it was discovered in 1975 uh, uh, at 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 Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, SLAC, Stanford Linear Accelerator Center, uh, and for which the people who worked on it, uh, it was uh, it was uh, Martin L. It's, it, and Pearl and his associate associates, and they were awarded Nobel Prize for uh, for discovering this particle. And these tau leptons are produced in electron-positron collisions. So you have collision between electron and and positron. Uh, at very very high energies so energies are involved of the order of 20 giga electron volts so so this reaction that we can have electron and and positron and it gives us tau negative plus tau positive now this tau positive is is the anti particle of tau neg negative so this tau positive uh, it is anti particle of tau negative now the properties like uh, charge and spin of the, these tau particles are same as that of electrons except for an electron uh, uh, this this tau particle is much heavier uh, than that of electron and and moreover this this electron is stable particle but uh, this, these tau particles are unstable they're unstable and and having some approach of uh, the, the properties of these 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 tau particles is uh, is that the, the, the charge on this tau particle is same as that of charge on electron uh, and its antiparticle is same as that of uh, the charge of, of, of posit positron. Now the, the mass, uh, talking about its mass, the mass of this tau negative uh, and its antiparticle which is tau positive, uh, it is same. Uh, so the mass of this tau uh, negative is equal to the mass of this tau positive and it's nearly equal to 1777 mega electron volt per c square and this leptons they are much these tau leptons i mean to say these tau leptons are much heavier than electron and muon the, the spin of this tau lepton is uh, 1 by 2 h bar. This tau lepton and its antiparticle they are unstable so they decay and, and the mean life of their decay the mean life of decay for these uh, 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 tau leptons uh, is of the order of uh, 3 times 10 to the power of minus 13 seconds. So it's nearly uh, uh, 30 picoseconds. I, I mean, uh, the, the modes of the decay, if we have to write down the decay modes, uh, what we have, we have tau uh, negative lepton, it gives us muon plus nu, mu uh, bar plus nu tau, and tau plus, it gives nu positive plus nu mu and plus nu tau anti and the, these tau leptons participate in both electromagnetic as well as weak interactions uh, however these these tau particles they never uh, i mean they never participate they never participate in, in strong interaction they don't participate in in strong interaction now let's go with electron neutrino electron electron neutrino 
Now, what we have seen in, in beta decay, we have neutrino inside a nucleus, I mean, sorry, a neutron inside a nucleus. What happens is converted into a proton and an electron. We have a neutron, it gives us proton and it gives us electron. And at the same time, uh, it was found that, that, uh, that, that in beta decay, both law of conservation of intrinsic angular momentum, uh, that is spin angular momentum, and the law of conservation of energy, they are violated. And this problem was resolved by Pauli, and, and, and he postulated that in beta decay, we have a third particle, uh, which, is a, which is neutral in charge, and, 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 and it is massless. Uh, this particle is emitted along with proton and electron to conserve the, angular, the intrinsic angular momentum uh, and the energy. Uh, of the reaction. So this particle was named as neutrino, uh, and this neutrino means, uh, it literally means small, the little one, and its symbol is, is nu e as we know it. So, so the, the, the antiparticle of this neutrino is nu e uh, bar. And, and the production of the, the neutrino and antineutrino in a beta decay and uh, beta positive decay and beta negative decay, uh, we, we understand that we have a proton, it gives neutron and a positron and a neutrino. And in this reaction, everything is conserved, and neutron decays into proton uh, plus uh, electron plus uh, antineutrino. And uh, thus, what we have here is we have electron neutrino and antineutrino uh, are are produced in in uh, in the beta decay. Now, talking about the properties of the the neutrinos, the charge on the, this neutrino, uh, whether you say neutrino or or antineutrino, they, they have zero charge. They don't have any charge, and and they are neutral charged particles, as we have uh, neutrons, which are uh, which are having neutral charge, and the mass. Talking about the ma the mass of these particles, nu and and anti nu, uh, their their masses uh, their masses are zero, and and they have a spin, and and they have a spin for uh, neutrino and anti neutrino. The spin is one by two h bar. And this electron neutrino and uh, and anti neutrino, they are stable particles. They are stable particles, and. Uh, this uh, uh, neutrino and its anti-neutrino, they never decay to other elementary particles. And this uh, neutrino and uh, anti-neutrino, they have no substructure like that of an electron. And, and they participate only in, their participation is, is possible only in weak interaction. Weak interaction. Now comes the, the category of uh, what we call as muon neutrinos. Muon neutrinos. Now, these muon neutrinos are produced in, in the decay of pi mesons. Uh, so if we have a pi plus, what we get is mu positive plus uh, a neutrino, nu mu. And pi negative, it gives us mu negative uh, plus nu mu bar. And talking about the properties of these muon neutrinos, the antiparticle of muon neutrino is, uh, is anti-muon neutrino. Okay, so we have uh, muon neutrino and we have uh, anti-muon neutrino. So we have muon neutrino and we have anti-muon neutrino. And the charge of uh, uh, muon neutrino uh, and uh, anti-muon neutrino, uh, that, that's zero. That is, uh, they, they have neutral charge. Uh, and the masses, uh, if, I, if you talk about the mass of this new muon and, and anti uh, 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 muon, uh, uh, this mass is uh, is very small. It is less than that of 0 0.17 mega electron volt per c scat. The spin of this mu, uh, uh, this 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 muon, uh, this muon neutrino and anti muon neutrino is uh, h bar by two, and and they are stable particles and they do not decay, and and they participate only in weak interactions. They participate only in in weak interactions. Now finally we have tau neutrino uh, leptons. So now we have tau uh, neutrino particles, okay? Now these, uh, uh, these, these particles are produced in, they are produced in tau decay. And, and this tau neutrino, we have tau neutrino. And what's that? That is nu tau. And its anti-particle is tau anti-neutrino. Tau anti-neutrino. That is new tau bar. And this uh, new tau and new tau bar, they are neutral particles. Their mass is, their mass is, is less than 15.5 uh, 
mega electron volt per C scan. They have a spin uh, one by two H bar, and both of these new uh, uh, tau and new tau bar, they are stable particles and they do not decay to other elementary particles. Now, let, let me try to summarize this all in, in some tabular formulation. Let's have a sense of, uh, of this, what we have been talking about. So, uh, let me go with one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, okay. So here, let me tabulate it. Uh, so first, uh, I will name the lepton and uh, I'll write down its symbol and its antiparticle. And I'll write down its charge and in terms of E and uh, its mass in terms of uh, mega electron volt per C scan and spin and then the mean life, okay, mean life. Okay, let's go with it. So let me take the first one as electron. So I have electron, okay. So for electron, the symbol is E negative here and its antiparticle is E positive. It has a charge of minus one in terms of E and its mass is 0 0.511 mega electron volt per C scale. It has a spin of half and its mean life is uh, infinite, so it is it's stable. Now, the particle number two is muon, okay? This muon, it has a symbol mu negative, then its antiparticle is mu positive, it has a charge of minus one, and it has a mass of 105.7 mega electron volt per C scale. It has a spin half, and its lifetime is nearly 2.2 times 10 to the power of minus six seconds. So this is the story of muon. Now, the third one is uh, tau, and the symbol of this tau is tau negative, its antiparticle is tau positive, uh, it has a charge of minus one, it has a mass of 1777 mega electron volt per C scale, it has a spin of half, its lifetime is three times 10 to the power of uh, minus 13 seconds. Okay, that's the case. Now, let's go with, now let's go with number four, uh, what we have is electron neutrino, electron neutrino, okay, electron neutrino, uh, it, has, uh, it has a symbol of nu E and its antiparticle has a symbol of nu E bar, it doesn't have any charge, it doesn't have any mass, but it has a spin of half and it is stable infinitely. And then number five, we have muon neutrino, muon neutrino. So we have new, its symbol is new mu and new mu bar is its antiparticle and it has no charge. Its mass is less than 1.170 mega electron volt per C scale. It has a spin half and it's infinitely stable. And to go with the last one, what we have is tau neutrino. Tau neutrino. Okay, it has a symbol of new tau its antiparticle is nu tau bar, it has a charge zero, its mass is less than 15.5 mega electron volt per C scale, it has a spin half, and it is infinitely stable. So this is the story of uh, 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 the, the, the leptons, and, and, and we have tried to go with the decay processes that are involved uh, in, in case of these leptons.